Sketching is a fundamental part of modeling in SOLIDWORKS, so it is important to understand how to create a sketch. Sketching in SOLIDWORKS is when you create a 2D profile, which can be created using sketch entities such as lines, rectangles, arcs, circles, and ellipses. With SOLIDWORKS open, the first thing we need to do is create a new part file. You can do this in a few ways. The first is to go to the file and then new. When you do this, you'll see a template window pop up and you'll select the part and go OK. There's also two other ways you could do this. If I close this new document, we could also just go to the new icon up the top here. Or we could use the hotkey, which is Control N, making sure the part template is selected and then going OK. Once the document has loaded, we're ready to create our sketch. In a new part file, you'll notice there are actually three default planes that we could begin a sketch from. These are the front, top, and right plane. Currently, they're invisible, but you can make them visible if, it, if it's easier to get your orientation in the 3D environment. You can do this by clicking on the front plane in the Feature Manager area, which is this left area here. So you can click on it and go into the, uh, the little show icon in the contextual menu that pops out. So we could do this for all three planes to show them and make them more visible. In this case, I don't need the right plane and the top plane, so I'm just gonna go back and hide these. Just quickly as well, this may be your first time looking at uh, SOLIDWORKS. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how to move around the 3D environment. The first thing is if you hold the middle mouse button and move your mouse around, it will rotate the 3D environment. If you hold down control and the middle mouse button and move the mouse, it will pan the 3D environment. Scroll on the mouse wheel, it will zoom in and out. And finally, if you hold down shift and middle mouse button and then move your mouse, it will zoom in and out, but at a more precise kind of increment. Finally, up the top here, you can also change to say a front, top, or isometric views by clicking on the drop down. And we actually want a isometric view so you, we can click on it here. Another way of doing that is if using hotkeys. So it's much quicker to learn to use hotkeys. So I recommend you sort of get familiar with them. So if we wanted to go, we maybe have rotated our part, we can actually click on control seven to go back to a isometric view. So to begin a sketch, we're going, we can either do this in two ways. You could either click on the plane and then click on the sketch tool, or you could click on the sketch tool and then select the plane. In this case, we're just gonna click on the front plane and go to sketch. You'll notice that when you start a sketch, it will actually rotate to view and uh, face your orientation to be directly towards the sketch, just to make it a little easier to understand what's going on. You can also tell that you're in the sketching environment because you'll see these two buttons in the top right hand corner. The red cross is to exit the sketch without saving anything. And the kind of backwards arrow is to exit the sketch, but save the changes. So just always be aware of which one you're actually clicking. What we're gonna do is just draw a simple rectangle to begin with. So by making sure the sketch tab is highlighted, or activated, we will go to the center rectangle. And if you don't see rectangle or center rectangle, just use this drop down and then pick center rectangle. Bring it over to the middle point of the sketch and you'll notice a little snap icon highlight. So we'll click on that center and we're just gonna drag it out to a random size, it doesn't matter. We're going to say okay to that and then we want to exit our sketch, making sure we click the backwards icon. So now you can see we have created a simple rectangle on the front plane. What if you wanna edit the sketch? Well, that's easy to do. You simply go over to your feature manager, click on the sketch, and in the contextual menu, you can go to edit sketch. So if you need to add a dimension or change some sort of constraints or something, that's how you do that. And let's just say we want it to be a little bit more of a rectangle shape. So we can just drag the point down in this case. 
clicking OK, and then exiting the sketch. So you can see the change is being made that way. You can also delete a sketch if you really need to by right clicking on it and then going to delete, but we don't want to do that. You can also create a sketch on the surface of an object. What we can do is actually use the rectangle we've created already, extrude it to give it a bit of volume, and then sketch on one of the surfaces of it. So what we want to do here is click on our features menu and click on extrude boss base. It will ask us to pick a sketch to extrude and we can just pick one of the lines. And we're just going to accept the default here. So make sure it's set to blind and 10 millimeters. Click on OK. And you can see we now have an extruded rectangle. We also don't need this front plane anymore. So we're going to actually hide that. Clicking on the front plane, clicking on the hide, and now we just have our rectangle. With our rectangle now extruded, we have a bit of volume to work with. And what we can do is actually pick one of the faces of this object and create a sketch on it. So to do that, we can click on the face we want to create the sketch on, and then going back to our sketch tools, click on sketch. Again, you'll notice that the view rotates to face it front on. And what we're going to do is draw a circle in the center. So using our center sketching entity, a uh, circle sketching entity, uh, pick the middle point, drag it out, and we're just going to make it that big. Clicking OK, and then exiting the sketch. Control 7 to go back to an isometric view. And you can see this circle is now sketched on the face of that rectangle. The sketch is also highlighted at the moment. So if we just click off into empty space, it will deactivate that selection. We can now punch this hole through the rectangle by uh, cutting. So if we go to the features and clicking on extruded cut, it will ask us to select a sketch, which we can pick that circle we just drew. And we'll just use the default um, settings here. So blind 10 millimeters, click OK. And you can now see the uh, hole has been punched through the rectangle. So that's how you create sketches in SolidWorks. It's important you understand this step before proceeding because everything you do in SolidWorks will usually involve creating a sketch, drawing a 2D profile, and then manipulating it in some way, such as extruding or cutting or revolving that profile. So if you can at least get the basics of creating the sketch and using the sketch entities to draw the shapes that you require, you'll be on a good start. In the next video, we will discuss sketch dimensions and relations.